Hi, I'm Diane Clahane, and I'm back with Robbie Myers to talk more fashion. So, Robbie, you have a big anniversary at the magazine in uh, October. Will be your 25th anniversary, mm -hmm. and you're launching an iPad app to coincide with it. Tell me about that. It's been in development for quite a long time. We're launching it with the on-sale date of the October issue in celebration of our 25th anniversary, but also because that's where we need to be. I was just talking about that. It's so exciting. It's so interesting. And, you know, all the reporters that we've shown it to have said, wow, that's really interesting because there's so many. Um, we did a lot of things with shopping and with sort of how you can put looks together. But also there are certain things that I don't want to talk about yet because I want them to be unveiled with when the iPad launches. But um, it's, it's a full representation of what's in the magazine, but also there are video components. There are, are all kinds of things that will really help the user consume their fashion. Mm -hmm. And also you have a lot of special things going into the October issue. Tell me about that. Well, I'll tell you two things that we're very excited about. One is the covers. We did 25 25 year olds for our cover story which was um, an enormous effort for Josie, our creative director, and Carter Smith, who shot them. He also shot short films of each of the subjects. And what we really wanted to do was take a snapshot of 25-year-old young women and really what the future held for them. So the other thing we did was we did a survey with MSNBC.com and L, which was really what are the attitudes, fears, behaviors, um, desires, lusts, of 25 year olds in America right now and we really we really got a very comprehensive picture of what that is. So how would you characterize the L reader now that the magazine is 25? Who is the L reader today? I think it's important to say that we perceive L as a brand but she's a passionate early adopter. We say she's smart, she's chic, she's interested and she's interesting which is to say that I mean there are all kinds of other 25 year olds in America and we don't um, we don't judge them, and there are other places for them to go with certain interests, but we know our, our, that the L, lover is, the L lover is a fashion lover. We know that, but she's also very interested in how she can use fashion to be in the world in a way that is interesting and important to her. So it's not, it doesn't start and end with the dress. Mm -hmm. You know, we say the dress is just the first thing she does before she goes out to live her interesting life. And what would you say to people? I mean, there's just so much about the death now. Magazines are, you know, not doing well, and, and this is not the time to get into journalism. What do you say to people out there, particularly all those people that are watching these shows and seeing how glamorous it is to work mm -hmm. in the business? What do they need to do to impress someone like you, to get you to look at their resume or get you to remember them in an interview? Well, I mean, I will always say that enthusiasm first. You know, enthusiasm counts for a lot, meaning I'm here to learn, I'm here to do anything that the editors need me to do and I'm committed and smart helps. And so what are the skills that people should really you know foster in terms of coming to a magazine? I'll tell you what we need is we need people who know how to report. I mean you know again all these beautifully educated people come across my desk and they're like oh, I want to be a writer. Great you know I mean there are a lot of great writers out there that's true but you know we exist in real time so and we're not we're not running fiction and we're not running you know, essay person. We do do personal essays, but they're from Nora Ephron and Holly Malay. Mm -hmm. So, if if you know how to report, you are um, gold to me. If if you know what you're doing, and and I would say the same is true for fashion editors, that you need knowledge. You need, and you don't need to come in with the knowledge if it's your first job. But you know, our fashion editors know so much, and they're so knowledgeable about the history of fashion and about what's going on from you know, from the runway to every, like, brand new accessory designer, that a passion really helps, too. Thanks so much, Robbie. We'll, uh, we'll see you up in Lincoln Center. You will. Thanks. That's all for now for Media Beat. Thanks for joining us.